folds. One of the most natural positions our hands can assume is simply folding your hands. Put your hands together and fold them down. As you notice, my right thumb is on top. Some people may have their left thumb on top. That determines if you're right or left thumbed. Switch back and forth. All the way down. Go at your own pace, nice and slow. As with many of these exercises, I'll do them slow and then speed them up to, sh to show you what you should be working for. But at first, go slow. One of the most important points of this program is finger isolation. We're going to take the same exercise, simply do, do this one at a time. First, your first finger, second finger, third finger, and fourth finger. Now, I lead with my right finger on top. If you're left thumbed, you might feel more comfortable leading with your left finger on top. Back and forth. And with time, you should be able to develop speed. But go slow at first, all the way down. Now, let's try this two at a time. All the way down, nice and slow, making it very automatic. And that's what you should be striving eventually to work for. Let's try three at a time. These three, these three, back and forth. A variation on the folds is putting all your fingers down, now extending one at a time. First finger, second, third, and fourth, and then coming back up. First go slow until it becomes more automatic. Or extending one pair of fingers at a time. This is very good for finger independence. Now that we've learned how to fold your hands in various ways, let's move on to the taps. <laughs>